today we are going to cook one of our family's favorite dishes taught by my late mother. Uh, it's a braised pork trotters with white vinegar. Uh, my sister Elaine is going to cook together with, with me. Okay. I show you these are the pork trotters. There are three pork, uh, pork trotters here, pig trotters, three uh, trotters here. Right? Yeah. The ingredients are here. These are the ingredients we use to cook the pig trotters. One clove of garlic, minced. Okay. Three thumb sized ginger, minced. Four to five dried chilies. Four to five small onions. Six tablespoons minced bean paste. Heinz white vinegar, a small cube of sugar, brown sugar, and a few grounded peppercorns. That's all. Okay. The wok has got boiling water. We are going to blanch the pig trotters to remove the impurities. This is after 10 minutes of boiling it. Now we dish it up. Now I'm going to wash it with tap water. To remove the impurities further so it'll be really clean. Give it a cold bath. Okay, that's all. We let it rest now. Okay, the wok is hot now. We put in the pig trotters. We have to remove the moisture from the pig trotters. Okay, now we dish it out, put on the plate. We put oil.
we fry the small onions first. And put in the dried chili. Take it out. Okay. We put oil and I'm going to it in this pot there's a bit of water. Okay, we're going to put a bit of pepper in at the same time, let's ground the pepper, okay, and then we on this water. Okay, here yeah. now we add in the ginger. Now we add in the garlic. We fry it until it's aromatic. Add in the bean paste. This must be done under a slow fire because the bean paste, once it's burnt, it will be bitter. Add the big potters. Okay. Add in some water.
now the water is boiling this side I have to put in the small onions and chilies back, close it and I slow down the fire. Add milk warm water. some vinegar Now we put it inside the boiling water. From the wok into the pot. You pour the remaining bean paste water inside. Then we stir it a bit before we cover the pot. So that it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot. We have to cook it 45 minutes. Because it's still very tough. The meat is tough. Oh, we leave it. Now there's ample water covering all the meat and the bones. We leave it on and we are going to cook it for 45 minutes. Okay, we add uh, the cube of sugar, brown sugar, inside. The meat has not gone tender yet because you need about 45 minutes of cooking okay so we still got to wait and to see whether it's tender yet or not okay let's see that got bite got bite but still not yet 45 minutes you can put the vinegar, you know, so that it quickens it. Ah. Taste first. Ah. Let me have a taste first. Let me taste it first. Salty enough, no vinegar. Ni. Mm. Yes, good. Rice bowls of white vinegar, Heinz white vinegar. Then we have to taste it again. 
and the vinegar will soften the meat further. Yeah, it's sourish now, and but it's not sweet enough. Put the sugar. Put sugar. Mm, put it in. Mm. It's sour enough. Just now, see the correctness of the balance of the sour sweetness. Okay, so we just cover it for a little while. Hmm? No need to completely cover just like that for a little while. And we come back again. Right? Yeah. Okay. Let's test the softness, the tenderness of the meat now. And let me test the taste first. Is it balanced or not? Okay. Add a bit of white sugar in. Just tea, two teaspoons. Ah. One more. Okay, that will do. Mm. That will do. Very tasty, yummy, yummy. Salty enough, sweet enough, sour enough. Yes. Okay. It's 45 minutes exactly. 45. Off, huh? Okay. Uh, now we dish it out. Okay. <laughs>